This is not any regular spicy vodka sauce. This is the best vodka sauce. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, my YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time here, well, welcome. I haven't been on in a while because this December and holiday season has been super crazy. So I've been working a lot, but I don't wanna to take too much time. This pasta dish is very quick, very easy. And if you don't want to use alcohol, you can totally omit the alcohol. It'll taste slightly different, but it will still be delicious. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make this dish. And as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. Now, if you want to make this recipe, you have to use these ingredients. Not specifically the brand, but these ingredients. One medium onion that we're going to slice. Then I'm gonna use one large garlic clove. Not a whole bulb, but a clove and then three Calabrian chilies. Now with the chilies, if you don't have Calabrian chilies, feel free to use dry red chili flakes. And for the level of spiciness, use whatever you like. If you like it more spicy, add more. If you like less, add less. And now that all the chopping is out of the way, it's time to start assembling the sauce. Now on medium heat, I'm melting some butter and a little squirt of olive oil just to prevent the butter from burning. And now with the onions, we're gonna just caramelize this. Now, how far are we gonna take this? It's up to your preference. I like mine not completely caramelized, but just enough where it brings out the natural sweetness of the onions. I'm gonna add about, about three or four tablespoons of tomato paste, and I wanna cook this, and I want it to stick to the bottom to create this nice fond which we're gonna use vodka to deglaze. Now, if you don't wanna use vodka, you don't have to. You can use water, you can use chicken stock, you can use anything that you like. Once all the vodka has cooked off, I'm going to add in the chopped chilies. I just wanna bring out the heat. Now, at this point, some people like to add the cream. I like to add a little bit of passata or tomato sauce because I love the contrast of the richness of the tomato paste and the bright acidity of the tomato sauce. Now I'm adding some cream. Again, if you like your pasta sauce more creamy, add more cream. If you like it less creamy, add less. But whatever you do, just gradually add it because once it goes in, you cannot remove it. And also that pasta water that we got going on, once it boils, cook your pasta to packaged instructions minus a minute because we will be taking that pasta and combining it into the sauce. Now I'll give this a taste for additional salt, which it needs just a little bit. And now I'm gonna grate in some pecorino. Now I just want a little bit of cheese at this stage because I don't want the stringy bits in the sauce. The cheese at this point for me is to bring the sauce together. Now once your packaged pasta is cooked, to about a minute under, we're gonna add it with a little bit of pasta water into the sauce and give this a stir. Make sure it's completely coated in sauce. Now you can add a little bit more cheese just to tighten this up. And as you can see, it's coming together just beautifully. The only thing left is to grab yourself a bowl and start plating. And now you can garnish with more freshly grated cheese. Give your plate a wipe, make sure the rim is clean. And I like to garnish with a Calabrian chili and a sprig of basil and voila. I don't know how I lost audio at this part, but here is the completed dish. Now with this specific pasta dish, I like to eat it with a spoon because that creamy, delicious sauce on the bottom, you have that really nice warm heat from the Calabrian chilies, the rich savoriness from the tomato paste, and the bright acidity from the tomatoes and a slight sweetness from the onions. And in between bites, I like to chomp on a Calabrian chili. All right, guys, that is my recipe. Give it a go. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Take care of yourselves and as always, peace.